going on guys? Rob Peasel back with your North Division Roundup and yeah, we're at that point of the season. Every team in the division, with the exception of the Vancouver Canucks, have under six games left. So it's official, we're at the home stretch. And I want to start this video by talking a little bit about the Winnipeg Jets because if you live in Winnipeg, if you follow this team, if you cheer for this team, you're probably a little torn right now. Those glass half empty people will say, this team had a seven game losing streak. Their power play disappeared and they lost Nick Ehlers for the rest of the regular season. Oh, and by the way, Connor Hellebuck struggled. They were in a battle for first place in the division. Now there's a chance they could finish fourth. But those glass half full people will say, they shut out the flames on Wednesday night to officially clinch a playoff spot. And they look pretty good doing it. Two power play goals and a shutout by Connor Hellebuck means this team has turned the corner. All four of the remaining games are at home, so they will be fine. <laughs> now, I have no idea which glass you're holding, but I can say this. Both sides are kind of right. All right, moving on. There are some stories in sports that just seem to be too good to be true. They're like Disney movies. And one of those Disney movies played out this week with the Montreal Canadiens. Cole Caulfield scored his first two career goals in the NHL. And they both came in overtime. He became just the third player ever to do that and the first in 16 years. Okay, four games for the Oilers this week, three wins, and Connor McDavid continues to fill the score sheet. In those four games, he put up 12 points, which brings his total to 96 points with four games left. Okay, before the season, 100 points was a pipe dream. By the midway point, it had turned into a possibility, and now it's pretty much a foregone conclusion. So is the Hart Trophy, the Art Ross Trophy, and the Ted Lindsay Award. And speaking of ridiculous stats we never thought would happen. I just want to remind you that Austin Matthews has missed four games in this 56 game season. Okay, and I know the following story happened nowhere near the North Division, but it was the biggest story in the NHL this week. So guess what? I have to talk about it. What a 48 hours we saw involving the Rangers and the Capitals. And in case you missed it, allow me to recap. Tom Wilson, who has spent his entire career in the principal's office, punched Pavel Bushnevich in the back of the head while he was flat down on the ice. Then threw a helmetless Artemi Panarin head first to the ice, not once, but twice. The hockey world, expected a very long suspension. The Department of Player Safety decided otherwise. The Rangers then released a statement saying that the head of the Department of Player Safety, George Peros, was quote, unfit to continue in his current role. Now, hours before the Caps and Rangers were set to meet once again, Rangers President John Davidson and GM Jeff Gordon were fired. And finally, at puck drop. Here we go, oh, right off the, the face off. Three fights simultaneously. Tom Wilson on the ice for the first time. He has the puck and here's the booze from the crowd. And here's now, Brandon, Brandon Smith. Brandon Smith goes right after Wilson. Yep. If Tom Wilson is suspended for one game. I wonder if we even have this. Like I said, crazy 48 hours and it didn't end there. The Rangers got slapped with a $250,000 fine for their statement and Bushnevich, well, he got a one game suspension for this cross check. Okay, before we take a look at the weekend, the NHL released some news this week about the Stanley Cup playoffs, specifically when they're going to begin. Now remember, the regular season had to be extended because the Canucks had eight games postponed because of that COVID outbreak. Most of the US based teams wrap up their seasons next week, some as early as Monday, but the North doesn't end until May 19th. Now the Canucks and Oilers, they're gonna play on the 16th and that's the last game with any kind of playoff implications. Then you've got three games between the Canucks and the Flames, AKA two non-playoff teams. Long story short, there's a possibility that the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs for the East, Central and West could open a few days before the North Division. Okay, now let's take a look at the weekend. Three games on Saturday, including a possible first round preview with the Leafs taking on the Habs. Enjoy the games. We'll see you next week.